Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys another 2007 old school RuneScape video, and this is going to be on the new poll that was just recently released. But before I get into that, let's get into some uh, account updates. So, as you can see in the screenshots here, we got two Sarasaur drops, which comes out to be 10 Sarasaurs and nothing else for my total drops at Sarah God Wars Dungeon. I haven't got one hilt or one armadillo crossbow, and it really sucks ass. So as you can see, my luck is completely terrible, and actually, uh, yesterday, as of the day I'm making this video, um, I fucking went on an eight hour double trip of Sarah Dome and God Wars Dungeon, and we didn't get anything. It was absolutely atrocious. We got a dragon stone, a rune spear, two uncut sapphires, three god sword shards, death runes, nature runes, and all of those drops are as rare as a Sarah sword, pretty much. So basically, I have been having shit luck lately, and then I also got a clue scroll from it, and they're making me do two puzzles. I haven't finished the second puzzle yet, but eventually I will, and I'll probably get a shit drop or loot from the clue scroll, like a rune full helm and a dragon dehyde body. But let's actually get into the main topic of this video, which is going to be the new poll that was recently released. So, should we introduce a matchmaking system to help you find other players to play group mini games with more easily? That would be really good because when I had to do pest control within like the second month of the game's release in order to get full void, it sucked ass. Uh, it took about a little over a week to get, I think, for the range and the melee set, and it was completely terrible because I had to be with this terrible clan and we had to do the easiest difficulty, so I'm definitely going to be voting yes on that one. Second question, should we introduce a minigame reward shop where you can use points and tokens from multiple minigames to purchase new items? Yes, because Void is re void in the fighter torso in, are pretty much the only things worth doing minigames for, unless you just want to do it for fun, which you can't anyways because there's nobody to play with, so I'm going to vote yes on that one. Third question, if you vote for the minigame reward shop to be included, do you want to include the Bone Crusher? Definitely not. That is going to definitely bring down the value of whips and stuff like that. So that is not good. We do not want an overpowered weapon in the game. Question number four. If you vote for the minigame reward shop to be included, do you want it to sell rune pouches? Um, I don't really care, to be honest, for this one. I mean, the more the better. Uh, considering um, rune crafting is already hard as it is, I'm going to say yes. But... Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to vote no for that one. If you vote for the mini game reward shop to be included, do you want to sell books that teach you the augury and rigor prayers? To be honest, I quit pre-EOC pre in 2011, and I don't really know what those are, but I'm pretty sure it's like piety and chivalry for rangers and majors or whatever, and ranging and mage is pretty good where it's at, to be honest, so I'm going to vote no. If you vote for the mini game reward shop to be included, do you want it to sell uh, level 3 clue scrolls? Um, no, because then you'll have noobs getting them. Should we introduce Zamorakian and Saradoman flags as rewards for the Castle Wars reward shop? Well, I'm pretty sure in pre-OC they had that, so I'm going to vote yes because uh, it's pretty cool. Should we add skirts as options to the Castle Moors uh, armor rewards? I don't really care, so yes, why not? Should we add range and mage armor set to the Castle Wars reward shop? Yes, pretty fair. Should we allow players to buy bandages at Castle Wars? No. If you kill five or more players without dying in Castle Wars, would you like your stats to be buffed? I think this would be pretty awesome, kind of like Call of Duty because you know you're getting like a kill streak. So I think that would actually be fair because by that time you're going to be running out of bandages and stuff. So I think that's pretty fair and would have a uh, would add a different element to the game to make it more interesting. Should we add uh, some siege weapons to Castle Wars to help break down the doors of the keep? Um, I don't really care. I haven't played Castle Wars in a while, in a while, but. I think 
Oh, the doors are supposed to be underground, I'm pretty sure. And those are trying pretty annoying to get rid of, so I'm going to vote yes. Why not? Should we allow players to obtain free elemental mind chaos and death runes within Castle Wars cast to cast magic at a reduced XP rate? I think this is pretty fair for the majors and stuff, for the people who want to do that. But then again, you're going to have a lot of people just barraging and it's going to be really annoying. So I don't really know what to vote for this. Oh my god, this is a good question. This is a really good question right here. But I think I'm going to vote yes, because why not? Because you don't want to, you know, have to spend your own money just to play a mini game like Castle Wars. Question number 14, should everyone on your team be rewarded with an extra Castle Wars ticket if your opponents fail to capture a flag? Fuck, that's a good qu question right there, but I'm going to vote no. Question 15, should we add a bank to your blast furnace room? Yes. Should we reduce? I don't really care. Well, I don't even know what blast furnace is, so I, I don't really care. Question number 17, this is going to be a lot of questions, probably a long ass video. Should we allow players to use the egg launcher in Barbarian Assault while in combat? Sure, why not? Um, white, when uh, the word called whatever... I know that question. Should we add fighter legs, same stats as fighter skirt? I'm going to vote no on that one. I don't think there should be fighter legs in uh, whatever because I think the fighter torso is good enough. Should the fighter skirt have a plus one strength modifier added? I'm going to say no. I'm fine how it is. I mean, I'm at, I'm level like 105. I'm not a berserker peer, so I don't really care. Should we remove split bark armor defensive requirements? Definitely not. Because then Mystic is going to completely crash and everybody's going to be using that. So, I mean, I'm fine with how it is right now. Should we allow players to get to trouble brewing without completing Cabin Fever? Um, I don't even know what that is, nor do I care, so I'm going to just vote no. Should we remove uh, level 40 cooking requirement for trouble brewing? I think it's good how it is, so whatever. All right, here's a great question right here, question number 24. Should the alchemy value of armadillo armor be increased so that way it is protected on death over crystal equipment and barrels equipment? Definitely yes, because it sucks. Like, even when you have, like, guthans on and you have to lose your spear when you die, that sucks. So they should really edit the alchemy values of certain items like armadillo and maybe, like, the guthan spear. That would be great. So I think they should definitely fix that. Should the alchemy value of the armadil crossbow increase so that it's protected over death? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's basically the same thing as armadil armor. Um, should the dark mage in the abyss be contactable via uh, contact NPC lunar spell? Yes. Should not? Yep. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Question number 28. There's a lot of fucking questions. This is going to be a long ass video. Should the fishing shops and herbal oil shops be able to sell 100 vials in packs? Yes because I run out of vials for um, doing my herb lore and it sucks having to buy them back. Question number 29, almost near the end, finally, should the game applet show your current health uh, just like it does in the Orion client at the uh, left of your minimap in the top right of the screen? Yes, that would be awesome because of those people who don't use the client, I think that would be fair because I don't want to be like overpowering people because I have the Orion client. Um, Question number 30, should the smithing menu offer and make X option? That would be great. Question number 31, should the dig, dig site expert be able to identify all your unidentified liquid vials at once? Sure, why not? I don't really care. This is the question I individually made a video about two videos ago, which is going to be great. Should the auto, should auto God blessed be willing to convert a Zamorakian spear into a single handed Zamorakian Hasta on payment of 300k? And the Hasta would have the same stats and it would be tradable. That would be amazing because then people would actually be willing to go Zamorak God Wars dungeon and um, I'm kind of sick of just using the weapon stuff because it actually kind of sucks compared to certain other weapons or whatever. I just think something needs to be added to one-handed weapons better than wh the whip. Anyways, question number 33, almost to the end, should the, yeah, I don't really even understand that question, but whatever. Should a supply of spades be added? to the buildings near barrels yes definitely because sometimes everybody forgets their spade and nobody just wants to waste their time it's not hurting anybody by adding those spades there so i'm just gonna vote yes finally done with this long ass voting let's just check out the results for a little bit 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching this long ass video. And if you are subscribed, then I guess I'll see you guys later in my next video. Also, if you watch this far into it, then I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it. So please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below of what you think about these new polls and what I voted for. Tell me what you guys will vote for. And I'll see you guys later in my next video. Peace.